Hello everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So now let me just tell you one thing, the which subject I am going to start now, C++. We have completed C, so now I am going to start C++, right? Because see, yeah, I have asked from you guys also through a poll which subject to start and to be honest, first preference was Java, then Python, then C++, third number was C++. Yeah, I know Java is one of the top or maybe you can say the top most programming language which is in demand in industries, I know very well. But see, I thought that I have completed C recently. So it would be easy for you guys to grab C++ concept easily, right? So I think I should start and in our curriculum also in colleges like first C, then C++, then Java comes. So maybe I would follow this order C, then C++, then Java. And it would be easy for me also to complete it C++, you know, as fast as possible. So I, you know, I apologize to those who was waiting for Java course, but the good news is I am parallelly I am preparing Java classes, right? After, you know, you will get familiar with C++ once you have completed like basics of C++ and you are able to written some programs in C++, then parallelly we can start Java also. I am preparing those because the thing is I want to complete these courses, you know, like I have completed C uh, programming course in detail from basic. I want to, you know, uh, complete this course, maybe any course, C++ or Java, in a way that even if you don't know ABCD of programming, you can easily grab the concept, you can easily understand what I'm teaching here, right? It's not like that upar upar se sapadha diya, so I want to, you know, go in deep, like I have completed C uh, course from basic, from scratch. Each and every point I have tried my best to complete in that course. That thing I want. So for this thing, you know, for Java to complete this kind of lectures for Java uh, programming language, I need some time, right? That is why I am preparing parallelly Java classes. Maybe after some time we can start parallelly C++ and Java, but right now I am going to start C++. And I will try my best to complete it in detail. I will keep it as a beginner friendly course like if you don't know anything ABCD of coding then you can easily grab the concept right. So now what I am going to cover in this I will just give you an overview not in detail I am going to tell you I just give you the overview what we are going to cover in this course right let's see. So this is what we are going to cover the main main topics I have written over there firstly we will see the basics right like see as you know C++ is object oriented programming language not purely but yeah it is. Why so because it follows the object oriented programming those uh, concept abstraction, polymorphism, encapsulation, classes and objects these concepts. So what is this OOP object oriented programming and how it is different from like procedural oriented programming or functional programming that basic we will see and how it is different from C language right. Then we will see the one C++ program, we will write simple program just to print out maybe in every language first program we generally write is hello world to print hello world. So maybe that program will print or any simple program you can uh, take. So we will see the structure of that C++ program, right. Then the basic things like what is data type, variables, keywords, identifiers as we have discussed in C language also. Every language obviously is having its own keywords and these things. So we will be seeing that thing, then operators, then we will see control structure like if else and loops with the help of program. Each and every concept we will see the help of programs, then functions, especially what is inline function, right? And overloading, yes, the new concept in C, like what is function overloading, what is inline function, that we will see. After that comes to the oops concept, classes and objects. So maybe we will see, you know, overview of these concepts, classes and objects, inheritance, encapsulation, abstraction, polymorphism in first class, then we will see in detail, like in classes and objects also in detail with the help of programs, what are access specifier and all we will see, how to create a class, how to create objects, how to access the members or the, you know, uh, uh, members of these classes with the help of object, everything we will see and I will try to relate these things with, the, with real life examples, I will try my best. Then constructor, destructor, types of constructor, default constructor, parameterized constructor, how to write a constructor, what is copy constructor, we will see all these things and as well as constructor overloading. What is use of constructor, then inheritance, types of inheritance with the program, then polymorphism, friend function, friend class, 
pointers, virtual function, virtual class we'll see, then concept comes of file management, then ex ex you know exception handling which is not in C, after that templates, what is STL, standard template library, because of this, see we know that C++ is fast, way faster than Python and then Java also, because of templates, we can use templates to write down code, so that would be one reason why C++ is fast. I'll I'll discuss all the reason why C++ is fast. We'll see properties of C++ also when we'll discuss the basics of uh, no, this thing, right? Then STL standard template library. This is, I think, one of the best feature in C++, standard template library. Uh, because uh, those who uh, no, do pro competitive programming, they know how to use this and what is the use of standard template library. So we'll see about this, this is what standard template, template library and see as we know that uh, versions of C++ programming, right? I think recent is uh, C++ 20 and 23 will be coming in 23, stable release is C++ 20, C++ 11 was one, in this version lambda expression they have added, so we will see those thing also. That updated thing, that modified thing or the newly added thing which have been added in the newer versions. Right? But the basics in every version is same obviously. So what new features they have added, we will also see that thing like lambda expression, anonymous function, we know that. No, function without name, that are lambda expression. And C++ 14, what, what functions, what uh, no, new things they have added there, C++ then 17, then 20. So in every version we will discuss the history also, I will you know, discuss the C++ history. So, uh, I will try to complete, I will try to keep it beginner friendly, right, as simple as possible. With real life example, I will explain with programs, practical also we will see, now which ID I am going to use that is VS code. There are many IDs you can use, it is not like that VS code, you have to use code blocks is there and dev C++ is there, NetBeans, Eclipse, you can write C++ program in Eclipse also. Uh, VS code is also there, many IDs are there but I will you uh, know uh, use this ID and how to install this, how to uh, set up the compiler, how to install the compiler because this is just an ID to write down the programs. We need a compiler to compile those programs and run so separately we uh, need to install that compiler, we need to set up something right. So that also we can see in next video. So and if you know like how to install this or maybe you can be ready with install everything like VS code and compiler and set up the path variable, environment variable and all right or maybe you can discuss this thing in next video right. So with the theory it is very important like you have to do practice also. I will try to give uh, practice problem in every uh, lecture after every lecture and we will see the solution also in next lecture. I will try my best to do this thing to implement this thing in this course right. Some quizzes I will give some questions also we will discuss right uh, for every concept some complex question basics question moderate questions on every concept we are going to discuss with solution some programs also so i'll try my best to keep this course simple also i'll try my best to cover basics to advanced level concept right from scratch in simple language i'll try this thing right so get ready with all your weapons for this battle Right. So that's it for this video now and I'll see you in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.